December 29th, um, and that means that we will not have an accountant at that point unless we do something about it. Um, so Linda and I are actually doing something about it. Uh, we've been talking to various regional agencies, FERCOG, PVPC. Um, we've reached out to accounting firms that do this work. Um, we've reached out to auditing firms that do this work, by the way. <coughs> Linda, um, Melanson and Heath, want to, they want to get into the accounting business as well. Interesting. Yeah, they're not going to be ready for the time for us, but this is something on the future, on the okay. horizon. Okay, well, that's very interesting. Um, Linda and I will be talking to the staff of Bay State tomorrow. And uh, we're going to talk to Justin, the head of Bay State, on Friday. Uh, I've also reached out to the town of Hatfield uh, to see if we could share the service going forward. So we don't have things together yet, but we are working actively and should have a recommendation as how to move forward. Um, so that's one. Yeah, big one. That's a big yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, two, uh, next week with the select board on the 16th of October, uh, the chair wanted me to talk about the preliminary revenues for FY 2021. So I'm going to present to him uh, and the board, and I'll share it with you, uh, a mock-up of what the revenues will look like. This is going to be a conservative estimate, but just to let you know that we're now beginning to dig into the next fiscal year. Okay. Uh, uh, it's, they're probably going to go up, huh? I mean, with all the commercial activity? Yeah. And the dispensary? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm projecting right now about $900,000 of new money on the table. So that's being conservative. Um, so, uh, and we'll talk about it, and obviously this is very early. We don't have any real indications of what the revenues might be, um, but uh, it's, it's, it's good. And it'd be nice to have the September. I was going to say, we should have the first quarter ones. Uh, they should be in tomorrow, and that would mean Justin would have them uh, in time, and a report in time for next, you said they'd meet next Wednesday night? Yep. Yeah. Do they meet tomorrow night too? Yes. Yeah, so okay. Right. Tonight. Okay. Yeah. All right. So moving on, um, you mentioned something about Annie's uh, newsletter. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've sent to all of you the um, town administrator report that I prepared for the select board, mm -hmm. and I'll just keep you in the loop from now on. Yeah, that's good. All right. Now, that I liked that newsletter. I mean, what you just gave us, it mm -hmm. was very good. Mm -hmm. Um, I read through it. That was great. So that's helpful for us. But the only other thing with Annie's newsletter is she gets it out to the public. Yeah. How are you going to, you know, I agree with that. Is that posted? Yes. Where? <clears throat> On the select board agenda. On yeah. this. So somehow. Every time they meet, I have I, a town. Yeah, I, I, I see that. There you have a town report. But you got to go into board docs. You got to go searching for it. Yeah. Can so we have that posted on the front? I think it also might be posted on my website. Let's see what we have. I just have you have to make it some some way or some you know, it would be great if we could get people's emails and we could do a email blast on a regular well, we, we can do that. Let's see if I can pull this you up. Say right. people's emails, like who, which people, like, like all the residents? Yeah. You'd well, opt wants in. to give it. You'd opt okay. in. Um, the yeah. way you, other emails you can get by registering and saying I would like an email to be notified mm -hmm. when. Okay. Yeah. Mm 
Yeah, so on my website, on the town of Hadley, uh, our website, it's posted there. And we can send it out as a blast email to folks as well. Yeah. So, you know, when we send out, one, of, you know, the tax bills, it would be great to have one of those types of things if you would like to be updated on our administrator's report, or, you know, or yeah. something, you know, on what's happening in the town. Yeah. If you want to opt in, please go to this site and... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I just think that and had an immediate <coughs> been posted. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, even if we had a, you know, that is a good report somehow. Um, you know, down the road, we could have a couple printed copies. You know, if we ever had printed copies at the senior center for those people that don't like the email, mm -hmm. things like that. You know, just the library or the yeah. library. I mean, just a few posts. Uh, you know, things that people would pick up. Yep. And, and okay. that don't read, that don't get the emails. But I'd like to see us have the town be updated on everything. Yeah. All right. Well, I every time the select board meet, I produce one of those things. So. Now that I mean, that was you probably don't need to do it um, for the whole town. Do we need to send it out on a weekly basis when you do it for the select board? Maybe not. Maybe quarterly even, and yeah. you just take the just the basic highlights because some of it is repetitive. You know, every week. Because right. you always get the update on the library. You're always getting the update on the senior center. Right. You know, you probably don't need to. It's just it's it's. Maybe monthly. Or whenever, but it's it's a good report. Mm -hmm. You did it. It's a great job. I mean, there were so many grants in there that I didn't even realize. I'm like this grant, that grant. I'm like, oh my goodness, a grant, grant, grant. I'm like that's great. Mm-hmm. But I think the public needs to know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. So. It's it, it, it just makes you feel good when you see all those grants. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing. OPM, other people's money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, yeah, I think that's, uh, it might get more people involved because they get excited to see all this stuff happening mm -hmm. in their town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, so the free cash situation. I, um, I worked on the budget all weekend long. Um, and I have something which I think is balanced, but it's based upon what I think free cash is going to be. Uh, and without that free cash number from the accountant, um, I'm, that's the reason why I'm suggesting that we defer the town meeting because I think it's balanced. I don't know that it's balanced. I can't tell you. I can't look you in the eye and say we're in good shape. Uh, I agree with putting it off. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, we thought it was balanced last year. And yeah, thank goodness we were over by quite a bit yeah. when it came in, mm -hmm. but it was like a lot over. Uh -huh. And what happens if we get a surprise and it's a lot under? You never know. Yeah. You, you just never know. I think it's better to be cautious and push it off. Mm -hmm. Right, right. <laughs> so I'm sorry about any kind of inconvenience. And, uh, we'll get that number as can, soon as we possibly can. Can you tell us um, the delay, like last year, the delay, was that due to the accountant air, you know, area or not getting stuff done in time or is that due to just uh, DOR? Uh, do, we can't say it was DOR. You cannot say it's DOR, okay. Yeah. So it was okay. an internal process. Process that makes it delayed. Yeah. Which and happened again this year. Well, this year is a little different, but okay. it, is, it is an internal process, but it's the conversion of the collector software or the VADAR. Oh, so and it's still our internal yeah. process, but... Yeah, so it's more of this extenuating computer. circumstances okay. beyond her control. Okay. Um, but it did, it did delay everything that we're trying to do in a week, but usually it takes us a month to do. Okay. All right, so, so for the first time in 26 years of doing this business, I have to go and say that we have to defer a town meeting. I've never, ever done that before. Mm -hmm. I feel very badly about it, but I think it's the best thing that we can do at this time. Yeah. So there's some articles on the warrant which still require kind of a finance committee recommendations. Um, and the first two are the things that are probably the most difficult for us right now is the budget adjustment number article one 
and that's the budget which I think I think it's balanced. Okay. I'm not sure that it is. This is the most up to date budget yeah. right here. Okay. Okay. So looking at the first um, first couple of pages, we're looking at revenues, twenty one million dollars and change, gross amount, and then the expenditures. Um, there are 107, or, no, that's not right. Uh, that's the right page here. All right, $117,683 of the increases in the budget. All right, these are having to do with a reorganization of the DPW. Mm -hmm. um, has to do with getting more uh, clerical help and redeploying that, that assistance where it's most effective. It's changes in the um, fire department budget in particular. So it's on total, Did you, is that in here, the difference? The 100 and? 117, you'll find it on the next to, I'm looking for it. Next to, next to last. Next to. It would be, it would be this number right here. Oh, we're over there. Okay, yeah. 117,000. Yeah. Okay. We have a retiring. So this isn't the entire budget. These are the changed parts of the budget. Yeah. Is that right? Okay. We have a retiring uh, building inspector, and we're okay. going to have to hire a new person as well as do the typical payouts. So increased office support and contractual increase for the fire chief, a budget adjustment for the building inspector, a reorganization of the DPW in order to achieve greater effectiveness and efficiency, and redeployment of the clerical help in order to make, maximize things such as inspections um, and licensing and other routine pay, uh, paperwork that we're not covering, particularly in the Board of Health Department. Do you mind if we go through a few of these? Not at all. And again, I'll send you the whole, if I haven't done so already, I'll send you the whole budget and we can look at a million spreadsheets. So just the, if we can go down row H, just the adding and subtracting of each one. Yeah. Just, you know, so you took, you, you're taking away 4,000 out of the select board. Yeah, so I'm moving the, um, the uh, clerical help out of the select board and I'm deploying it to the Board of Health. Okay, so this is a move to the Board of Health. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that's four thousand sixty two dollars. Yep. How about the how about the tax collector? Is that the same thing? That's the same thing except that uh, that uh, clerical uh, those hours are going to the clerk's office. Okay. So we'll see pluses in those fields. Yeah. Okay. Human resources, that's because it's just starting. Wait, we, we funded that though, didn't we? We funded that, but uh, the, the benefits coordinator didn't get funded at 100%. That was an oversight on our part. So we need to up that to make sure the benefits coordinator is covered. Okay. 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 And then, oh, I see the plus for the town clerk. Yep, that's, oh, that's the offset from the um, town tax collector. And now I see an, an, an plus an extra four hundred dollars. Yeah, because she gets hot paid at a slightly higher rate as an assistant clerk okay. rather than as a secretary. Okay. Makes sense. Town buildings. Town buildings. We are projecting a shortfall in the town hall um, budget, having to do with um, 
postage machine uh, service. So that's that increase right there. That's all postage. Postage. Hmm. That's not postage. It's a, it's the machine. Oh. Okay. What is it, What are you going to do? Are you are you renting it? Are you fixing it? Yeah, the new house. It's it's a rental. Yeah. So is that why why increases? Are we re-renting? Are we getting a new machine? Is it cost? Or this is this is to cover, this is to cover the uh, the repairs. Oh, sure. okay. So we're renting it, but that doesn't cover repairs. We have to cover the repairs. Right. Right. So that's why the increase there. Oh. I thought that was one of the good things about renting things. You don't have to. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was surprised myself when they came to me and said, "No, we need, we need that increase." Okay. And then the uh, for fire. That's the chief, and you said that has to do with his contract. Yeah. So it's the contract the increase of twenty one thousand two forty eight. And they're expanding his um, uh, assistant hours by ten, no five, per week. So that's another fifty-two eighty. And part-time wages are going up by five thousand. Grand total thirty-one five twenty-eight. Building inspector is the next. Building inspector. Okay, so this is a, this is all having to do with uh, paying Tim to the end of April, mm -hmm. paying his buyout of vacation and uh, sick leave, um, and bringing in a, uh, a building inspector at a higher salary. So that's a ten thousand dollar chunk out of that twenty two thousand dollars. So paying that uh, new person in for the rest of April, May, and June at a higher rate. Why are we paying a new person higher rate than Tim? Because uh, Tim has given us a bargain for many years, and <clears throat> we don't think we're going to be able to hire somebody good at what we pay Tim. Mm -hmm. So there's probably a little bit of cushion in there. Okay. So we're moving people around and we have to talk to the union about this, so I'm going to be a little vague about it, but we have, we have to comply with sh uh, shortages in highway, water, sewer, building maintenance, and I think cemetery as well. To, yeah. yeah, cemetery. Yeah, so this is something that Chris Okafor proposed to the select board. I know he proposed moving things around and he proposed, I think, even adding on another person. Yeah. And that was the last meeting. Why are we doing it midway? Because that's what the select board agreed to. Okay. So they, they want to do it, um, they want to do it Was that agreed to be, be I, I just don't remember. What, did he, did they go over that before our last year's budget, I mean, before we finished the budget? No. And said this was the plan or this is done midway? This has been done midway and it's uh, mostly in re uh, as a result of the inspection by the Department of Environmental Protection and their concerns about staffing and that uh, we have inadequate staffing. So this is what uh, they have proposed. Oh. Right. Is there a report on that? Yes. What it, kind of authority do they have over our... Oh, they can take over and run our, our operations if, if they wanted to. So they have all, all the authority in the world. So, would that be a good idea if they came in? Will that be free? I know. a lot of money. No, they would come in under something that would be called a administrative consent order, which is a bit of a laugh because we will not be able to consent. Mm -hmm. All right, it's 
basically they'll take over the operation and run it the way they think that they are. And just charge us for it. Absolutely. Yeah. So we do not want to get into that situation. Would we be able to see the report at all? Yeah, I will send it along to you all. I, it just it seems like we, we you know, we have quite a, a, a few and I thought that we were running our program pretty well. I would, I'm just surprised. Well, I've been concerned about the understaffing and sewer in particular. We only have three sewer workers, which means that they, with two people having to be on all the time, um, it's very, very difficult to give anybody a break. Uh, so it's not uncommon for somebody to work 30 days in a row without a break. Oh, all right. So we all know what it feels like to work too much. So. Oh, yeah. So. So, but didn't we put in, because they don't work at night, right? It's not right. like it's 24 hours. Right? right, right, right. So I thought that there was something that they put, like a computer, and so it was supposed that if there was a problem, gonna... Right, it, it reduces the number of uh, call-outs. So if they get called out, they get four hours of overtime guaranteed. Uh, okay. So if the call-out is because of an alarm at a pump station, that just indicates a power surge. You're paying four hours of overtime for somebody to say it's a it's a it's a power surge. Mm -hmm. um, now we can monitor it remotely and say, okay, it's a power surge. We don't need to. Hello. Me, where is the conservation commission meeting? They uh, could not meet tonight. They had a problem with their posting. Oh. So that meeting is not going to happen tonight. Thank you. It will, be, it will be next Tuesday night. Yeah. All right. Next Tuesday. But we need two staff people on at any one time, weekends included. Um, and if you only have three people. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. And I've been concerned about this for a long time. Well, if someone's out sick or if you have, you know, yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. Can water, I mean, do we cross? Does like can water help with sewer and sewer help with water? Are they um, trained in each other's areas? Um, cross trained? I think that they are to some degree. You need yeah. to have you need to have licenses to work in both sewer and water. In water, you need to have one of two kinds of licenses. You either need a uh, what's called a distribution two license. Okay. Uh, or a district uh, treatment two license, a D two or T two, to work in water. So, but um, do our people currently now have licenses in both or no? Some do, some don't. Mm -hmm. um, and with sewer, you need to have a sewer two license. Okay. Treatment two license for sewer. All right. Not everybody has that. That's a harder one to get. Well, I figure you got to get trained and then pass certain. Yeah, and you got you got to get trained, you got to pass, and then you got to put in the requisite hours. And I think it's a hundred hours. Uh, so. Okay. So, we're trying to get as much cross training as possible, but then we've added some incentives in the union contract for that. Oh, good. Um, not everybody's going for it though, so. Slowly but surely, we're trying to put that together. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so I see that was, we kind of went over public works. And yeah. then does that go the same? So I see the increases in the sewer, the water. Is that the same increases? Yeah. About wow, $20,000 for water. Right, so we're getting rid of a position in sewer, one of the administrative positions. We're moving over to town hall. So that's the reason why the decrease in sewer, or the increase in sewer is not as much. Oh, you're, you're taking the administrative person from the sewer and you're moving them to town hall, is that what yeah. you just said? Yeah. You mean in the budget or the actual person? Yes, both. Why? Uh, they're not needed in the sewer. We have a lot, we've got too much redundancy and and clerical and sewer, oh. and board of health needs um, clerical help. Uh, board of health is not covering their bases in terms of 
life safety inspections because they can't handle the paperwork so they need somebody there so so to, normally this number um, so these are this is for the people not necessarily okay wait yeah so these others because we needed to give rearrange things and give get another person in possibly but this the sewer and the water is that more people that we're getting that you they needed help with yeah so but, there's, there's also uh, I'm also reducing their electricity budget um, and that's because we estimated that our electricity would go up by 10 percent mm -hmm. and we were able to renegotiate a price of uh, of a five percent drop so I, oh. I cut the so we were at ten and a half cents per kilowatt hour for electricity I thought that was going to jump up to eleven and a half percent we actually clinched it in for a two-year period at nine cents per kilowatt hour mm. so we can cut that budget safely okay. so so the sewer you did say we only had three people, but that's not to do with administration. Right. Three people. Are you looking to hire another person? Is that why there's an increase? Yes. Okay, so that's the increase because, and you're saying that's not that big of an increase because we should be much higher, but you're taking away the electric and you're taking away an administration. Right, person. and you're also reducing the overtime. Okay. We didn't, uh, we didn't see a corresponding increase in town hall from the sewer person moving. That's because they're in the Board of Health. Board of Health is 5000 oh, Board of Health, got it. Okay. But got I see it. a $5,000 increase. Is that that person? Yep. Okay. So normally this other number would have been an increase of more like uh, uh, five, six, another, seven thousand. Yeah, add another, uh, yeah. Add another six. Six thousand to that would have been the body. Okay. Well, six thousand dollars isn't a whole body. Well, that body, <laughs> that part-time body. Part-time body. Yeah. <laughs> it's <a> cheap body. <laughs> okay. All right, down to human. Sir, or how about the TV? TV, are they getting a body too? Who? TV? A cable, uh, cable? $1,400. Oh, know. TV, um, TV5. Uh, where, where are we? We're okay. on the same page as sewer and water. Uh, this is 1400 Cable TV old, that one? Oh, okay, so. You don't have anything in I don't have it. Was your finger covering it? Uh, no. <laughs> 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 <That's scary. laughs> no, up. Up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's in the intervals. Okay, yeah. I thought we were yeah. in human services. We, I did Sorry. say that, but then I went up because I said, oh, I missed one. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize TV was down there, too. We got two TVs. They're enterprise funds, so they're together. Uh, it's zero water and cable. Okay. Yeah. So t uh, Hadley Media went up by fourteen hundred dollars. Um, that's a software upgrade for five hundred, and their internet has gone up by nine hundred. Their internet. The internet pays for them, though, right? Verizon. Yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah, but they're not part of Verizon. Charter. Or charter, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, charter. So. So charter raised the rate on them. I don't watch TV, so I, yeah. I don't keep track of this. But I'm sure that they have. They never, they've never decreased it, have they? It's been pretty stable mm. for a while. Now, where is these monies coming from? When we say that we're increasing these items. Are they coming from the general fund? Which one are we talking about? On the enterprise. The enterprise. The enterprise. No, that has to come from, come from enterprise the enterprise fund, fund right? Yeah. That's okay. So it will be coming from. We don't know where. Maybe they're they're operating, or it could be um, from the reserves. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right.
Okay. So next is the human services, which is, we talked about Board of Health. We know where that increase came from. That was the sewer person. That's right. That's, that's right? All, all that transferred pe person. Mm -hmm. and how about the Council on Aging? Council on Aging. There's a lot going on there. Um, Do we have uh, a person picked out? Okay, we have a person picked out and uh, we've been able to drop the salary by $11,000. Uh, uh, for that position. So that person is going to be hired tomorrow night pending the select board um, vote on that. Um, we, because of the interim work for the uh, senior services director uh, as well as the increase in hours for that position, uh, the coordinator for the Council on Aging is ultimately going to net uh, thirteen thousand five hundred dollars for her service as the interim as well as her uh, time afterwards at a higher rate so this is something that the select board worked out uh, and also they're going to increase the hours for the community outreach coordinator um, from 11 hours to 17 so there's that increase and then it increases for the salaries for the drivers because we're using them more. And that's all in the 13th? It's all in the 13th. set out as salaries and expenses in each, within each of the departments, just like what we voted at town right. meeting, right. annual meeting. Right. Okay. Five, uh, look like we're on the next page, and the only difference I see is the five thousand dollars. Yeah, the overlay, I dropped it by 5000 um, just to take some pressure off the budget. Parks. Oh, I missed the parks. Yeah. Park oh, I went right by it. Yeah. Park and Recreation, if you remember back to the budget uh, discussion, we uh, said that, that we would be using an outside non-governmental uh, funding source for the increased hours for uh, park director. Uh, and, and Joan gave me a shot of brains and says, no, you can't do that. That's illegal. So we have to provide this funding for that position. I thought we could do it off, off of the general budget, but we can't do it that way. We're, we're giving the parks person an increase in hours? Yeah, it's something we all agreed to we, uh, at the annual town meeting, um, but I thought that I could fund that using other money, which I'm mm. now told that I can't. Okay. They've also too. taken over the drug shop, also taken over the after school. Yeah. I knew that they took yeah. over the after school uh, program, but yeah. I remembered them talking about an increase, but I didn't think that it went through with, at the budget you know, when we were doing the budget last year, that, that, right. that it was on their list, but it hadn't gotten approved at that point. So it must have gotten approved midway. Well, this is more of a correction. This is something that we agreed that we would, that we would fund her at certain, so many hours, but she'd work more hours and be funded from another source. Okay. And that other source is not available to us. Was it the receipts from the, the child care? Yeah, something like that. And, Okay. Uh, basically, I'm getting too clever for my own britches. Uh, uh, you know, this is this is, a, <laughs> this is a problem of my own devising. Well, the money generated by that will go into it, 
should yeah. pass through. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we have to be careful when you net out income and expenses. We have to address them separately. Okay, one of the things that, um, oops, I'm going in the wrong direction. Where that stick is. I don't know what that is. Where am I? Oh, yeah, the debt page, it starts with. Yeah, debt. Okay. I wanted to talk a little bit about debt. I don't know yet. <laughs> Once David figures out where he is, then right. he'll tell us. Last, last, <laughs> Back up. last page. Last page of the expenses. Yeah, that page. Okay. Going to total municipal at the bottom. That one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. But at the top of the page, you'll see debt, mm -hmm. and you'll see that we voted for principal one million one hundred sixty-seven thousand. Mm -hmm. And we're, ch uh, um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, no, never mind. Everything's fine. Nothing to look at here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pay no attention to the man behind But But here. it's down there because when you, we are going to be putting changes in the action, it's, it's down there showing no change, zero, zero. Yeah. But when it's written up in the uh, budget changes, there's going to be, uh, the principal is going to go up and the interest is going down and the net will be the same. So I'm wondering if it, did it need to get, either, why don't I check that over there? Yeah. I'll, let me look at that tomorrow. Something didn't, okay. I knew, yeah. the, I knew Some, that the, some, some things up. <laughs> the, bottom, the bottom line is going to be the same. Right. And the debt and principal within the levy is going to be the same, and the debt and principal outside the levy is going to be the same. There's no change to the bottom line, but there is. You've been at. Wouldn't you mind? I think it was about thirty, thirty, thirty to thirty-five thousand is going to be um, s that is saved in interest is going to get switched to the principal line. I think it was thir thirty-four, thirty-five. Yeah, something, something like that. Like that. Okay. So, so there will be a, no change. But that was a result a of. Nice interest rates, yes. Nice interest rates, so we've been able to yep. capitalize again on the AAA again. bond rating. Yeah. To pay down more principal, yep. which will save us on the back end right. of interest. So the town meeting was in May, but we did the bond in July, and we did another ban in September. So we, each time we borrow, we have better information about how what the interest rate is going to be. Mm -hmm. And we had uh, estimated um, Pretty cons you know, we thought we'd have gotten pretty close, but the bond um, we did better than we thought we did. And and two, when we're looking at, because as you said about next year, we're looking starting to look at the budget, especially coming into a little bit more money. When it, we talked about it at one point, having that these line items go up and yes. actually start paying down a little bit more, funding this line item more to pay down. So that way we'll have more room in the levy. So that way right. we, when our capital planning comes, we will have more room. We won't have to do debt exclusions. Right. 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 Rather than do the borrowing and add it in there and pay it yeah. off in our taxes, if we increase the within the levy line, we could be buying more equipment right out, right straight out right of the budget and not borrow uh, this in the same way. Yeah. yeah. And not put it on so the taxes. Not put it on the taxes, yeah. yeah. So maybe for those smaller items. So we, we can keep that in mind when we're doing the budget for next year. Mm -hmm. right. Then we'll look for an increase there, and we'll increase. see what we can, what we're, how much we're able to do. That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. So, how how would you like to proceed? Um, you know, acknowledging that without the free cash figure, we're sort of guessing at where the budget is going to come in in terms of what we need to balance it. We know what the expenditures are going to be. We have a very good idea of what the revenues are, um, but again, without the free cash figure, I'm, I'm a little concerned. But do you want to meet again when I have that information? I think we should meet one more time before um, when you have that information so that we could put our recommendation in to pass the budget. Okay. All right. When do you want to meet next? Well, so the, the meeting is November 7th, right? Right. So 
do we want to? We have to do it. When, when are you going to be posting? It would be next Thursday, not this one. Oh, okay. All right, so. What about like November 5th? What's so when you say next Thursday? What's the date on next Thursday? Next Thursday would be the uh, the tenth of the seventeenth. Seventeenth. This week's the tenth. They're meeting the tenth. It'd no. be the, it'd be the seventeenth when we'd be posting. So posting. They'll be signing it. On the seventeenth because. On the sixteenth. Right. Well, do you want to meet jointly on the sixteenth? Well, that might be a good idea. With the select board. Um, or a half hour ahead, or in the next room, so you can go back and forth with questions. We've done that before. Wait, if we need a, do we need a quorum? Yeah. So to put a vote. Were you talking about October sixteenth? Yeah. yeah. I won't be here. All right. I'll be in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. and what about the fourteenth? Uh, fourteenth, I'll be in Boston teaching. Fifteenth. Fifteenth, I'll be in Minnesota. What about the 11th? Oh, no, it's I'm Friday night. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Um, how about it? it's going to be later, though, since the meeting isn't until November 7th. Oh, you want to make the recommendations before it gets posted. Yeah, you want, the, point, you want yeah. the recommendations printed up. Right. Do it. So uh, I'm gone around that time, 15th through 20th. You're gone. Yeah, I'm gone. Um, I leave on the 18th, but I also am going to be. Uh, I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be in Minnesota this weekend. Yeah. So, and the 14th, uh, I'm teaching in Boston. Yeah. Are Rough. there other articles besides the budget article that they still need to? Yeah, there's a capital article. Is there any way of like approving what we have? Yeah. And then. Uh, while I mean right now while we're all here and then give grant you know delegating a certain level of mm -hmm. authority or yeah mm -hmm. I mean the 28th is the 28th the 28th of October, October. um <laughs> that's fine by me but it means that we'd be posting the warrant without a recommendation uh, for the finance committee okay well maybe we have to do that Post yeah well no. maybe we can do like a pre thing that we recommend it if it comes in differently then we can we should still meet but we might have to pull right. all right so you certainly can do that you know you can certainly recommend something or not recommend something i guess we can recommend and then, then later assuming on. that they're going to come in similar to what you have here yeah yeah if it's way off I'll the be. moderator will have to say since then we've Hold, if new, we in, want to. new information has yeah. developed since our posting. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we just went through the information for articles one and two. Do you have any comments, or do you want to make a motion, or? Um, I I don't have any other comments. I, I don't have it. No. So we're expecting the free cash to come in at the 650. I'm, I'm pretty confident that and that's And that will make number. us balance, yeah. you're saying, because I see down balance at a zero. Yeah. Okay. I would make a motion to accept the figures. Okay. Second. 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 Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, that, that's... Uh, that's a demonstration of your faith in our ability to do the budget, and I really appreciate it. And I would certainly be in touch if there's anything that's different. Mm -hmm. So, um, can we look at post, you know, having a meeting just to run over all these things? Absolutely. Uh, on the 28th? 28th. Around here you said the 28th sounded good to you, Val. Yeah, right? that, uh, I, I can be there. You can be there too, right? I think. Uh, what, what day of the week is that? Monday. 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 You always come I back teach on Sunday, Monday nights. Oh, you teach Monday night. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't need me if you got three. We don't have three. Oh, We're yeah. hoping. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 but maybe you will. <laughs> We're working on it. 
All right, six thirty uh, on the twenty eighth, or well, we? No, well, is I there, can't be there. Yeah. Is there what? What date is there? A day that you can be? Um, yeah. We, yeah. The what about a Sunday? Oh no, you won't be no, back. No. What about the 29th? Oh. the Tuesday? Okay. Uh, I think so, because I don't think I need to get until Friday. Yeah, but Tuesday might work. Wait, you teach? Don't you teach these Saturday? No. Oh no, that's on Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Tuesday's good. David, is Tuesday good with you? It absolutely okay. is. Tuesday the 29th? Yeah. All right, let's put it in the schedule. And I'll, I'll uh, post it for you. Thank you very much. 6.30? 6.30 here. All right. So looking at the uh, agenda uh, for the warrant, uh, transfer to capital stabilization, um, it doesn't look like capital stabilization is going to be used as a funding source for any of the capital articles. So I'm, th I'm thinking that if I have anything to put into capital stabilization, I'm going to, but we're not going to be using it. Um, we'll save it for the next time. Yeah, we That's didn't it. use any of it, did we? Because we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't have the number. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can save it. I just, yeah, to, for next time? Yeah. Start. The thing is, we got to start building. So, so I think right. that's great that right. we're going to, if, if we do end up with more money, more revenues coming up the next year. But I don't necessarily want to say, oh, here's another project we're going to do. I say, let's start putting away for all the stuff that we haven't been doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, um, that's great if we can put it, keep that and put away for the capital. Mm -hmm. And it would be great if we can put away for the municipal building. Mm -hmm. I would like to see us put away for that. So painting of the town hall. Right. So on Saturday, I attended a municipal conference on just that topic and how to do it. So. Oh, great. So I've got some ideas. What specifically, Tom? Uh, the idea of creating sp uh, special revenue account, uh, special mm -hmm. stabilization accounts for dedicated for certain purposes. So the town of Lenox does it. And I had uh, Chris Ketchum. Uh, out of Lennox to give us a lecture on how to how to do that, what that looks like, and what are your guiding principles going into. So you can put some money away, build it up, and it's protected. Yep. Yeah. It takes a two thirds majority vote to get it out, so we can't have an interest group making a run for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or it's harder to do. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so that's great. You, yeah. That's great. Yeah. So transfer stabilization is that something you're willing to support? Not knowing if we have a single penny to put in. Where are you? Transfer uh, on Article on Four. Article Four. Oh, we're I'm on still the on the budget. Yeah. Can you explain that? Uh, yeah. So we're using this document now. Yeah. All right. Okay. So what we do is when we have surplus free cash, we transfer that into the capital stabilization fund, which is then protected. Um, and it takes a two-thirds majority vote to take right. money out of it. Yes. Um, and the purpose of capital is, is for capital projects. So we start okay. building up a uh, chest of money to pay for these things rather than borrowing for every single item that okay. we need for capital. So the school bus and every time we need the police cruiser or a DPW truck yeah. or every single little thing. It seems like you don't have any money to buy it. So we're trying to work, kind of working that on two fronts, the idea of borrowing within the levy or the, uh, also setting aside within a spendable. We have the large stabilization fund, which you often hear, which is in the vicinity of $2 million, but we don't make a habit of spending that money. That is the money that we hold there. When capital stabilization was, this separate stabilization was set up, it was the intention of having Having it spent out actually on the capital projects each year, it was that one's more emergency. It was begun. Um, yes, it is an emergency one. This was started with um, was it the room the, the meals tax, rooms tax, or both? Yeah, meals. Okay, meals well, then we get the meals tax in from the state, and I think we didn't know if it was going to continue, and so well, let's put it into capital stabilization. So we'll collect it and we'll use it, and if it goes away, it goes away. And over time, we started um, easing that into the budget. So. We're really looking for another funding source for the capital stabilization account. And one way to do it is when you've got extra free cash from time to time, instead of 
letting it sit there and if, if we're set with the budget then get that put away into capital stabilization let us earn some interest yeah. so I agree in theory with all this everything depends on the numbers but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's right Sorry, yeah. we'll prove it there's no money <laughs> just, you want them to say yes <laughs> yeah I mean, if, we can, if we can agree upon the principle that works for me okay. yeah mm -hmm. We have a motion to um, for to transfer the um, whatever we can with seventy five thousand is what we're looking for into the capital um, stabilization account Second. from the free cash. Sure, if you approve seventy five thousand, if it's some reason they can't, it's not there. Then where do you see seventy five thousand? Oh, it's not there. Oh, oh. Well, it's kind of like that's what we <laughs> talked about from. That's the target. Oh, that's okay. the target right. number. Right. Which we hope to exceed. So they will have to re-vote this if it's anything except seventy-five thousand, won't they? Well, I think we're voting on the principle. Principle. Okay, already. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that so kind of principle. Yeah. That. Is <laughs> well, I, I'm thinking we <coughs> have the cash. Put it into there. Right. P L E. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I heard a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, going back to number three, the fund balances. Mm -hmm. All right, this is just cleaning up all the borrowing articles and the unproductive money. So it's returning things to the original pot. And I'm sure we do this every year. It's more housekeeping than anything. Yeah, so I would make a motion to approve that right. article. All in favor? Uh, aye. aye. All right, let's skip down to Article 8. This is the health insurance mitigation for 23400 well, how, how about, do we want to go over Article 5? We do, but I figured this Article 8 is uh, oh. mandated and we don't okay. have a whole lot of choice about it. So All right, <laughs> it's an easy one, you're saying. Easy one. Okie dokie. All right. So I, I spent a little bit of time thinking about this one. Okay, so we saved about $93,000 in health insurance. By law, we have to split a quarter of that savings with the employees, the union, non-union, and the active retirees. And they get to tell us how they, we get to spend this money, but we've got to spend it on them. All right. We could do it as a health fair or training on, on wellness, or we could just give them cash to reduce their premiums for one or two months or however that goes. I'm betting my bottom dollar that they're going to go for the cash, mm -hmm. um, but we don't care how they use it. We do have to provide it, and that's just a requirement of the law. Mm -hmm. Want to make a motion? <laughs> I make a motion that we approve the health insurance mitigation uh, twenty three thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So going back to capital, Article Five, and I think this is the last one for the evening. All right. So I gave you a copy of the capital planning committee minutes. Thank you. Right, there's an extra. Okay, I probably have one. They're right here to me. <laughs> <laughs> They're right next to you. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 They're so helpful. They all look so similar <laughs> to the untrained eye. Yeah. <laughs> we need colors. <laughs> so on page two is the recommended actions by the capital planning committee. Um, notably missing are two uh, items for the schools. The Univents for $800,000 and the girls locker room at Hopkins Academy increase, uh, improvement for $766,000. They have applied for a grant through the Massachusetts School Building Authority, which may fund these things up to 50%. Mm. 
uh, they won't know whether they got the grant or not until mid-December. So the school has said that they would like to defer these until the annual town meeting yeah. um, because that'll give everybody a chance to understand whether they got the grant or not, and if so, how much is that grant going to help us out? So um, they are going to try to expedite everything for the construction to begin in mid-June. So June, July, August, that's their construction window. Our town meeting is May 7th. Our annual elections are April 10th. So they are going to ask that we put a ballot question for both projects on the April 10th annual election warrant and then follow that up with the requisite town meeting vote on May 7th and then they can be advertising the bid on May 8th. They will have done everything and they'll be able to make that construction window. That's the reverse of what we usually do. We usually have the town meeting vote, then the ballot vote. But why do we always have the town meeting vote? I mean, why do we always have the ballot vote for a new person? I mean, even for our new select board, and then immediately have the town meeting. It's almost like maybe we should have the town meeting first because having a new person and then boom, you're, oh, now you have to go to town meeting. <laughs> yeah. I, it's, I it always, seems kind of backwards. Yeah. I, I, in Deerfield, we had the town, annual town meeting and then a week later we had the election. So that created some situations where the new person was given a, here, this is what we approved. Have a nice day. Uh -huh. uh, that didn't go over so well, but here we have a new person who then has to say, okay, I've got to sign my name to this warrant. I may not do, agree with anything that's on it. So that right. also is weird. Yeah. Both of these are set by bylaws, so we don't have any choice about it. No, but it's something that a select board should look at yeah. in, in many cases because, yeah, for that one reason that they're going, uh, a new person is, is getting thrown into very quickly a warrant. Mm -hmm. Yep. And... Number two, for this purpose of if we need to put something on um, a ballot, such as the unit events, mm -hmm. we could do it in the proper order, and we don't have to have a ballot vote, a meeting, and a ballot vote. Because if we have two ballot, you know, each ballot vote is maybe $2,000 of town money, having to spend money to do the ballot votes, right? So if we have a ballot vote to elect our officials, then we have a town meeting, now we have another ballot vote, because what happened in town, you know, if we just reversed it, it seems like it might work for us. You have to see the pros and cons, but it's something that maybe the select board wants to look at or talk about and maybe put it on the warrant to change that bylaw. Yeah. Well, Chris for the mill. <clears throat> give, him, give him something to talk about. <laughs> All right, so the armed with that information, the Capital <laughs> Planning <laughs> Committee approved the capital plan on starting on page two and going over to page four. Oh. Amy, you were on this committee. Do yes. you want to talk a little bit about that? Going from page uh, on the capital plan? Yeah. Sure. Now, and it's not, it's not even a bad idea down the road is if for town meeting, if this is how we're gonna present it to have a total of all these, but actually a total of what we're only gonna do for this meeting. Because, mm -hmm. you know, when we started, it was a little like, wow, you want $6.7 million, <laughs> a lot of money. Yeah. Um, but we've, we actually don't have that much act, uh, in a request at this time. Yeah. Um, we've. We actually did quite a bit. We're asking people to do a little bit more, um, looking for more grants. We're looking for, we, we, we came up and we were pretty creative. I actually left that meeting, felt really confident. I thought it was very productive um, that we spent a lot of time mm -hmm. and um, I thought it worked out yeah, pretty well. Good. So I mean, the, the items itself, I mean, um, 
you'll have as far as the funding sources we have the funding sources is one borrowing within the levy so that doesn't cost the taxpayers any money right because that's it's all within what Linda's doing within the levy that's what we talked about before it's the debt exclusions that you're going to see these um, when you when you go down and you see debt excluded and that's going to cost something for each taxpayer and I'm guessing by town meeting we'll have a dollar amount on each one of those items mm -hmm. right so say the first one I'm seeing is the Firehurst vehicle um, by the way that's a jaws of life oh <laughs> Jaws of light. Oh, oh. <laughs> see, <laughs> you didn't. I'm sure what that was. Thirty-five thousand. I'm on the second. So oh, you know what? You know what page? If you use the one that's in. Oh, is, is everything here, here? Because then it's uh, it's grouped yeah. actually by yeah. those. Okay, yeah. if they're oh, that's here, the, I think it might be better to switch over. Switch to over the, to the warrant. Yeah. Page eight. Yeah. Because then I see water reserves followed by have media reserves. Then yeah, the level. Are you sure mm -hmm. they're all on there? Because we got four pages yeah, here going. I'm really they're confused too. Um, it just feels like a. Yeah, but the four pages included all the things that we're not doing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's why. Okay, so mm -hmm. so these so this was everything that was requested, mm -hmm. and that's why. And this is just what we're actually doing right now. Okay. That's a very basic deferring. question. I'm yes. sorry. Why is it called borrowing within the levy? Are they borrowed? They're going to pay it back. Uh, is, I'm sorry. Is, Mm -hmm. Within the levy is pay, means it's paid out of taxation. But so so, why is it called borrowing? Because we still borrow it, and then the payments come out of taxation. So we rather than so getting it in we're advance. borrowing within the we're, we're buying something for a hundred thousand, and we're borrowing it. That means uh, over five years, okay. uh, we could be uh, paying it twenty to uh, over I see. five years. I see. Um, like when you buy a car. And you have a payment. Right. Mm -hmm. So the within the levy or debt exclusion is all about you're still doing the same borrowing. In fact, they're in the same note. We borrow them at the same time. They're not borrowed separately because of the, their character. They're borrowed at once. But then when it comes time to payment, does it come out of the budget uh, okay. on the same line item, uh, on, a, on a line item for being the payments within the levy? Or is it something that we went to the ballot? and voted to have override and it's coming out of that additional amount of taxation raised after yeah. the vote. So these, re when it says borrowing within the levy, it represents a multi-year commitment? Yes, okay. it, it, it can, up to a multi-year. Okay. It can be done, some of the things probably will be taken care of in the first year, because why? Okay. Because they're done as a lump. Yeah. So, so the lump sum is paid over years, but something like the uh, select board computers at 5,700 might just, will probably get knocked off in the first year, because but why not? But we know we could afford it yeah. without uh, doing a debt exclusion. Right. right. So when you do get the information uh, about well, how much is each of them going to cost, well, that's going to be a that's going to be its portion of a large borrowing, but it's not necessarily what each of them is going to cost uh, to add to the tax rate over, or, or what it's going to cost over a series of years, because we borrow as a lump. But okay. it's, it's good enough, though, yeah. for people to understand. It's all relative. I see. Yeah, it's good enough. But the debt exclusions, those are actually overrides, because that's increase, that's going on top of your taxes over the 2.5%. Yep. Right. So when Amy was talking earlier about increasing the amount in the budget that is paid within the levy, that means more things could be fitting into that and to this kind of a character. You add them and be paying, borrowing within the levy, and less will then go out to override to be then paid by additional taxes. Mm -hmm. So it's a way of keeping the tax rate down in, in that way. Not a bad idea, e too. When when rates are low and we're we're able mm -hmm. to do that, and we're right. putting away all this money, and, and we're borrowing on some of the stuff and using the low rates, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, so did you want to go over all these items? Did you the fire like the fire hydrant to start with the fire hydrant? Um, they that had to do with those sticks. You know, um, each fire hydrant has those sticks next to it. I guess this is a metal thing that that goes into. It's attached to the fire hydrant. Huh? If, it, if it's snow that high. Yeah, and it's a stick, and it's a metal thing that goes up. And there's how many hydrants did you say? Hundred and five hundred? There were Four hundred. Four hundred fire hydrants. Yeah. <laughs> it's a 
lot. Go down 47. No, I, yeah, down. Believe me. It's like they're this far apart. Yeah, right? as long as the fire hose, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? Um, so, but because it's a, um, it's between fire and water, um, we're actually, we're pulling that, our funding source is water reserves because it's through the water. Okay. Uh, the DPW, Mount Warner, Wellfields, um, that's just a study. That's 60,000. Well, you want to see a lot of holes, I guess. Well, actually, if you think that's a lot of money for a study, <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen the other thing that's on this. <laughs> okay. So, are, is the town considering getting drinking water from Mount Warner? Yeah, so we have a well field up there with uh, four wells. When I first came on 15 years ago, we had discovered a contaminant in the two of the wells perchlorate um, and so that's why we built the water treatment plant down here so that we could switch the whole water supply to an uncontaminated source but DEP is sort of pushing us to uh, decide what are we going to do with that uh, well field up in Mount Warner so this study would look at what is the perchlorate issue and there's also manganese in the water as well um, which turns the water brown. Um, so is there a possibility that in the future we could go back to that well and use it or use that water in some other way? Um, so we need to take a look at that. Once we shut down a well field officially, then you're never ever going to get it back up or it's going to be very difficult to back it up, not get it back up. So this is an investment in the future, of, 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 particularly Potentially valuable asset. How would perchlorate in the water? Perchlorate it, um, it forms through natural processes, bird guano, agricultural fertilizer, residue from fireworks. Um, they have found perchlorate on Mars. I told you. <laughs> I heard about the fireworks, <laughs> that it yeah. was an issue. Hmm. Yeah, so you could spend a lot of time trying to track down the source of the perchlorate and not spend a lot of money and not be successful. So okay. it occurs naturally, but it's not good for you. Yeah, I think that it's like in dry cleaning fluid or something. <laughs> Probably. Dry cleaners on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, maybe it's you know, it's good to get a, another opinion, have it tested, yeah. look at it. This you know, so, maybe maybe is, that's what they said before, but let's get a real opinion about it now. Yeah. Okay. Due diligence. Yeah. Oh, Hadley Media Equipment. Um, it's mostly their server. Oh, that's their server. Okay, I couldn't remember because then I'm looking. I'm like, wait, wait, wait a minute. We just also did the software increase. Right. But this is the server. This is the okay. server. Now that comes out of Hadley Media Reserves too, mm -hmm. so it doesn't really mm -hmm. affect too much. The rest of these other things, the select board computers, um, is, so that's not just the select it's, board, it's that's the town, the town hall. hall. It was a select board request, but yes. Are you going to move up here, David? So move the Board of Health IT up to that? Did you decide on what that Board of Health I, IT was? I am. When I get to the motions, I'm going to try to lump these together so we're not there all night long doing okay. 20 motions. So I'm going to try to bundle it as much as I possibly so can. Because that's a computer, so the IT, the Board of Health IT is part of Town Hall, so yeah. I guess we were thinking they should all be in there yeah. as one of them. The cruiser, uh, so the police cruiser, that's, we try to do one new cruiser every, I mean that, the cruiser they try to do 10 years. So they don't, uh, when a cruiser's 10 years old. But we're doing them on a rotating basis so that we don't have the annual replacement. Yeah. Okay, and they've increased, the, the amount of the cruiser increased too a little bit than it has been in the past because now they're having cameras and they have a little bit more to them. Um, the police cruiser cameras down below that is the, putting cameras in all the other cruisers that we have. Oh, uh -huh. great. So we already have body cameras, some of these. 
right? Some yeah. and the other. We already have body cameras, um, which was part of the, was it a grant, I think you got? Yeah, you got a grant. So they just did the body cameras recently. So now they're going to be doing the cruiser cameras. Now what the police department is looking towards is to be affiliated. No. Accredited. Accredited. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. Accredited. So um, this will help them get accredited. And why do they want to be accredited? Um, I haven't gotten all the exact pluses from that. It would yet. be the, the highest and best management practices employed by your police department. It would be conforming to the highest standards of protocol, bylaws. Um, okay. But I'm not sure of where the, you know, you know how that equals in dollars. <laughs> Yeah. Insurance yeah. premiums. Insurance, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. they'll be. Yeah, I was going to say the insurance premium okay. is going to go down. Okay. So it'll go and it'll look well next to the uh, the AAA bond rating. You know. Yes. Yeah. Everybody wants one. <coughs> <coughs> All right. It'll be good. Uh, police parts. This is a that's a regular. Uh, they do this all the time. You know, they need more supplies. Supplies. Right. Fire OSHA equipment. That that has to do with OSHA and, and that OSHA actually, requirements. Requirements yeah. that particular, and they're going to be coming to us for more OSHA requirements coming up. That's just not the only one, but in another year. In another year, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this particular one from OSHA, the, these firefighters, every time they go to an accident, you know, there's gas on their on their clothes. They have to wash it. They have to wash their uniforms in those heavy duty uniforms and they have special big huge washing machine oh, wow. for that I guess. so um yeah they have to do it on a regular basis so they need to replace theirs because it's you know they're it's in bad shape so this twenty five thousand dollars is a giant washing machine <laughs> okay it's also tie down equipment and oh, okay. i thought that was okay. next time next year maybe oh okay maybe i, I think yeah, but osha's requiring the fire department to do this okay. that had it's a regulation yeah i, I questioned it too quite a bit I kind of it. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my ones that i'm like do you really need a 25 and we can get a washing machine at a better price <laughs> but we get you 25 regular washing <laughs> machines <laughs> we could put one uniform each <laughs> Got a good hose. This this will be a good one. Okay, okay. The gas pumps. That's that that's our existing gas pumps, right, David? It's just a repair. Yeah. I guess yeah. this was a must must need. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's definitely needed. Okay, DPW uh, locks at town hall. Oh, this is a. It Security. says DPW, but this is locks at town hall. Yeah. This is so that when you go in to the town, you're going to have a fob, right? Where's my keys? You get one of those, something like, you know, one of these, and you'll what? buzz on the door. Mm -hmm. So they'll know who's here, type of thing. And so it's, it's it's a little more secure. They, they were looking at a little more than that. They are looking at all these other things, and they're, they're putting that off for a little bit. So this is the first step, right? Replacing the keys. Is replacing the keys. change the codes and whatever and stuff. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah, so this is the first step is... is you know. We live in a different world now. I mean, with Newport and uh, yeah. uh, all that kind of stuff going on. Yeah. yeah, and instead of just replacing a lock or just replacing yeah. something, you might as well get the right system. Yeah. They also they they give uh, town officials and committees for keys over the years, and it's been many many years and yeah. much <laughs> turnover yeah. of officials, and there's a lot of keys. so yeah. this this uh, will really help increase the security. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. We, yeah. we need it. Yeah. yeah. We love those um, coded locks. Yeah, because then you can change the code. And you don't have to hand out a little thing like that. You just tell them it's a code. Yeah. And then, yeah, um, I, don't, I don't know if these. Yeah, it's six of one half dozen in the other. Okay. Because they, that was. You don't have to keep buying the little round things. You know, oh, you don't have to keep buying them? You, uh, well, you, you just need one, but you can change the codes. Right, but you have to give them to a lot of people. Where they do, where well, you so give it to them, but then you also don't have to go. So there's a system, right? And so if 
So say I need to leave the bank, right? Mm -hmm. All they do is go on the computer and they turn off my number. Sure. Boom, yeah. you're out. Oh, <laughs> and my oh, little fob doesn't work anymore. Oh, that's and interesting. And they're going on the computer and my fob works for that door and that door and that door. But I can't get those other doors because I don't have any authority mm -hmm. over there. Okay. So it's a, it's a great computer system okay. usually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> School parking lot, 11,000. Now this is this is just to do the top part, just to seal the top, and it's not the whole parking lot. It's only to repair the tracks. Yeah, and it's only that little <laughs> hill, right? <coughs> and it's just to get so that it's not too yeah. We talked about the board of health that's going in. You know, that's for computers, but you'll add it to the select board computers, town hall counters. I don't know where that is. That the the Clerk and uh, a clerk. Yeah. clerk. An actual new countertop? Is that they get new... granite. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know a guy. Well, I think they're going to try to work in some panic bars, some panic buttons in there as well. Oh, nice. Okay. There should be some security and improved uh, handling mm -hmm. for handling the money. Yep. Yeah. Uh, then you got the town hall basement. You got the. Um, they're looking at windows. Oh, you combine those. It looks like windows and what else were you doing in the basement, David? You deferred something. The conditioned room down in the basement. Conditioned room. Yeah, if you turn the page, you see the condition. Oh, there it is. Uh -huh. Yes. <coughs> I'm going to the condition room. Yeah, it's 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 part of the uh, town hall, town hall basement. basement conditioned room. What's oh, it? it's I one see. item. What's it's a one item. Room to recondition the room. Yeah, he's gonna put the um he's gonna put the HR <coughs> on there. Oh, no, 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 Here, go down into the dungeon. We'll give you a crust of bread and a glass of water. Oh, uh, no, we we were going to build a um, storage room down there that doesn't get, that's conditioned so it doesn't att attract mold. Ah. And use it for what's down there now and perhaps get some storage of files that are in some upstairs, some prime real estate upstairs, mm -hmm. and, and thereby making room for the HR. Yeah, we are making yeah. room for everybody. Yeah. Sorry. She needs to have a window. It's just a short time there. <laughs> fire, the uh, generator, the fire emergency generator. That was supposed to, we were looking at doing that last year, and we put it off, so this year we're looking to do it. And it's not just the fire department, it's the it's the whole public safety, it's their generator. Right. So it's the public safety complex. So it's for dispatch. So if okay. something was to go down, they still have access. Yeah, the, uh, the current generator is 1993 vintage. They don't make parts for it anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Uh, the, the other one was, we talked about the Jaws of Life, was the 35,000. Um, but that's also not just the Jaws of Life, but it's also um, pillows, I guess. They're these tight, so if a car, if someone's under a car, uh -huh. they, there's these pillows that they stick underneath and it blows up and it lifts the car and you could take someone out. Okay. And I guess we have, like, we have the Jaws of Life, I believe, but this is a better one in, in to replace what we have. But the pillows we don't even have, I don't believe. Okay. I don't think we even have. So they're looking to get those. So it seems like good equipment, necessary. If you're stuck under a car, it probably seems worth it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this, these are all the, these ones over here. We're all doing debt exclusions on these, right? And so yeah. each one is gonna be, they're gonna tell us, oh, how much it's gonna be. Is it gonna be 35 cents per, you know, uh, you know, on your bill? Or is it gonna be 26 cents on your bill? You know, they'll have to figure out what that is. Um, and then uh, the double drum this we had and I don't know how to do this um, this double drum we had a lot of debate about this a lot of us didn't you know what is it it's like a steamroller or something? Ste exactly it's okay. a steamroller don't forget. okay yes. so you know how we approved the hot spot or whatever to fill in the cracks or the for the DPW the last hot, time hot box, hot box. Okay. So now they have a steamroller, but it's a little mini one, I guess. So they're looking, this would be make their lives easier. It's a bigger one, 
and it's a, a better one. But my question is, how often are you going to use it? Is yeah. the little one good enough? Also, where do we, you know, how, depending if it's a too much of a bigger one, where are we going to house it? I don't want to buy a new piece of equipment that's going to sit outside. Yes. You know, there's, it's just, I, you know, that was one we were all on the fence about. And then at the end, we're like, just put it in there. See what, it's a debt exclusion. See what the public wants to do. Okay. You know. I, I was more on the fence of no, but I was just like, okay. I Did put you it ask in. how often they use it? They don't. They don't use it. That I mean, it's to, when we fill in. It's and they don't pave our roads, right? This is not for paving our roads. This is for filling in the spots. Yeah. Yeah. So if you only need it a few times, maybe you could rent one occasionally if you really needed one. Or maybe we buy a big one and then sell a little one. Yeah. I mean. It's one of those things. It's sixty thousand dollars. Why do you need two? <laughs> well, and who knows how much they'll get for the? I don't even know really. The, I have never it seen the picture. Pretty somebody. worthless. Yeah. Little old steamroller. And he I was there that night. Well, he he, ta he mentioned it ahead of time that we needed all these things, but then when we were doing our voting, he wasn't there to tell us either way, mm -hmm. and. There was. Yeah, you all approved we, it. We we approved it. Let it we. Let it go to the voters. Let it go to the voters. So yes. Yeah, so I approved. My feeling was okay. Let it go to the voters. We'll probably approve it. I would like well, to see it separated because honestly, I if it goes to vote, that's the one I am gonna put my hand up to vote no on. Um, wait, if we don't opinion. if we don't approve this, it doesn't go to the voters. Oh, it does. Oh. If, if the capital does. It was the capital committee. The oh. capital. Oh, department. Oh, they, if they don't approve it. They don't approve it, okay. doesn't go on here. So this, we're just advice. Right. We, 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 but it seems like there's too many unknowns to give good advice about this. There, there, that happens. That hmm. happens a lot. And I, we question that a lot in, in, in capital. We ask for a lot. That's why one of the reasons why the Univents are on here, because there was too many unknowns. Hmm. And so that's why they're pushing it off, because that way they can look at the grant. They can get us a, a, a more solid number. Exactly what are you going to really need? Maybe we should push off some of this stuff. So, so like the generator, we did push that off. So we do know that, that it's more comfortable. I, I definitely feel that's a, a strong thing. The, the um, we don't have the pillows. I do feel like that's probably something good. But the drum, the 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 steamroller. If it, I would like to see it separated so that I can vote separate. I, I don't want to vote for that one. But I didn't want to give that opportunity. It, it was just me, and I didn't want to say, you know, I wanted to be able to say let other people vote. Yeah, I don't feel like I could recommend or not recommend this this steamroller. I have no the, idea. The, the um, mower for the common, that's a replacement. Am I right? Mm -hmm. That's a replacement. So we do, well, we mow all the time, right? We need a mower. So I felt pretty strongly about that. And we have one, but, you know, they only last so long. So you got to replace it. Is that what it. they use on top of the dike, too? Which, uh, yes. yes. So sometimes, yes. And the, for the slopes, they use specialized equipment. Huh. But they're going to be mowing that common. They got a lot of mowing around yeah. here. <laughs> so, it, and then they do that often. They, they, especially, it's important to keep our common looking good because people yes. are driving by it's that. It's a destination. It's, yeah. It's the face of the town. Do we re and it, the old one is just no good anymore? Or it's yeah, they only working. last for so long. And yeah. so, I mean, everything here, you're, you're always going to get the, the prices always seem to be huge when you yeah. look at it because you're comparing it to our own prices. And I'm like, yeah. oh my God. That's a lot, a lot more. <laughs> yeah. But. Okay. Uh, uh, the school bus. Um, Planned replacement. Yeah, it's okay. a plan. So we, how many years ago since the last school bus did we buy? I think it was the first year Val and I came on board. Mm -hmm. Right? It was a school bus. And how long ago has it been? Uh, I think my second time. Yeah, five, I think five years. Yeah, and they have they split the school buses with Five Star, and I believe we have three big school buses and mm -hmm. two small school buses. Mm -hmm. um, and they're on a ten-year cycle, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think in the ten-year plan we had three larger ones and two smaller ones. 
over the next 10 years. And so they're going to replace one of the bigger ones. Now, here's another thought. I questioned, I'm like, oh, maybe could we do it away, you know, with one of the big ones? Can we maybe do the smaller one? But here's another issue, okay? Our fields are going to be down starting next summer um, for a whole year. The kids aren't going to be able to be on those fields. So they're, they're going to be having to bus these kids to all the other fields for a whole year while the fields are being done. Um, so we're going to have more usage. We're going to need those buses. We're going to need the bus. And you need the bigger ones because you need to put each one, the bus will hold both the varsity and the junior varsity team. And then it'll do the same for the boys, the girls and the boys, right? So you, there's two big buses right there. Um, so you... I think the buses. Now, one thing I have to say about the buses, though, what I would like to see DPW do is I would like down the road, I really would like to see those covered. Those sit outside. And those don't have any covering. Am I correct? I'm pretty sure. Am I right, David? You mean every day, covered and uncovered every day? No, I mean, they don't, they're not in a, they're, there's no roof. Oh, <laughs> you mean a shelter. The shelter yes. for yes. us. I mean, right, so this, so it gets piled on snow, they're, you know, they're not on pavement. Right? I don't yeah. think it's a good spot for them to keep them. I mean, you want to keep your stuff. I mean, but, it, but they do get used like five days a week. Oh, they get used. So that, um, I think with vehicles, helps me. It's when you just leave them sitting there that coverage might be more valuable. True. Yeah. Because they are taking the snow Because that off. sounds expensive, building a giant garage. Well, more or like the, the covers, the like the, with the car solar panel, the car ports with, with the so that was one solar of the, panels on top. So yeah, that was yeah. one of the things that we talked about in terms of a new DPW building. There was a capital request for one and a half million dollars, which we deferred, the capital committee deferred until next year. And in the meantime, we have $25,000, mm -hmm. which we can use to do a feasibility study. So that green light has been given to the the DPW to do that. So there is a plan to move forward. So they, we don't have the right numbers. Once again, we yeah. want to get a better clue, a better number. Yeah. So they're going to use that to get a good plan. Okay. And in that plan, so maybe they might find coverage, like some type of carport or a place for the buses. Maybe I would also like to see them find a spot to wash the, the trucks after they come out, right? So they put all this salt and all this stuff on our roads, well, actually, it's this chemical they're putting on our roads instead of sand. Yeah. Which is great because now we don't have to sweep up all the sand, right? And it yeah. protects us from the ice. But at the same time, it eats away at the vehicles. Does it? Is it like salt that way? So, yeah. So, if once the truck comes back, it needs to be cleaned so that way, you know, they last longer. But that doesn't seem like. I'm not an engineer, but they do it at the car wash, they just spray water up on the bottom here. Right, so that's one of the things they're hoping, mm -hmm. you know, that maybe we can put into when we redo the DPW. Oh, I mm -hmm. So I hate to buy too many, a lot of equipment and a lot of stuff unless we have the means to take mm -hmm. care of our stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, let's keep uh, DPW expansion of sewer plant study. Oh, okay. So this right. So our sewer plant can only is is getting to capacity, and we have all these other places on nine coming in, and we want to still be able to provide sewer. We have to figure out a way to. We're looking at for a study to see how we're going to expand it. So it's mostly the commercial expansion. Am I right? I don't know for sure. I think. Yeah, That's so to the commercial saying. expansion was a big part of it. Uh, we also want to make sure that we have um, um, adequately gone after our what's called inflow and infiltration, which is extraneous water coming into the sewer system and then just filling up the plant with clean water that doesn't need to be treated. Storm sewers? Yes, yeah, storm water, um, groundwater leakage, uh, broken pipe, uh, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So. So we're like upgrading the, looking into making it more efficient. Yeah, yeah. So the most expensive water to treat is the clean water. Because you don't need to. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to come right from the sewer receipts. Is that going to come from, 
I thought that was going to come from not sewer receipts. We we're going to borrow that from sewer. Oh, we're going to borrow it. That's right. Yeah. We're borrowing. Thank you. We're borrowing it. I skipped school IT. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So that IT at first they were looking. So every year they they need new Chromebooks. They need you know they need to update their stuff. Smart boards. Smart boards. Things like that. Yeah. So. This hundred isn't just for one year. This is to this is to for a period of time, and it's not necessarily set what how, what, how many number of years. But we said, okay, we're gonna give you a little extra. This is gonna take care of you for a while, so we don't expect them to come back looking for upgrades. And that'll take pressure off the tax rate when they have to come up for those two big projects next year. So, so this is this is not going to be spent all. This school IT is not being spent all at once. It's it's not going to happen all at once. So then, too, because it's not being spent all at once, Linda, are we not borrowing it all at once? Uh, we can have authorization to borrow a hundred thousand dollars, but I can only bar I can you borrow, only borrow, when we borrow what we need as we need it, and the article stays live. And yeah. I can continue to borrow it. That what we were thinking is they were going to go for 60 this year and go and have override and all that, and then they needed 40 next year and go for an override and all that, which yeah. is a, we're trying to cut down on some of the uh, the frequency of, of, of some of these things that keep appearing. That trying to just be more efficient in the in the planning. Mm -hmm. um, but we we can control it not at the voting end, but we can control it at the at the actual borrowing end. So I think that's what we should do. Give it a try. Mm -hmm. So, David, when you combine these, how are you looking to combine these? Are you going to look to combine, like, almost like the debt exclusions, you should keep each one kind of separate, I'm thinking, because it's a debt exclusion, and so it's yeah. each one is affecting someone's taxes. I yeah. mean, I don't care if you, the, the other ones lump them more together, but... The, well, it's ultimately up to you guys, but yeah. okay, so let's... let's um, Take the DPW double drum compactor, the mower for the common. That ninety thousand could be one motion. Yeah, um, but then again, someone might say, "Okay, the the mower. I want the mower, but I don't need a one of those other big things." Yeah. So you don't want to the kill mower. the mower because you don't want the the um so, the drum. So we want to achieve a balance. We want to have enough details so people feel good about the detail. But we don't want to waste their time by. We don't want to waste their time. No. Yeah. So what if? Maybe so we should have a number. Like if something costs over twenty-five thousand or something, then it gets its own choice or separated out. I, and I just that number's random. I'm not right. Mm -hmm. I, I I I think that um, my own opinion would be a lot of these that are doing within the levy lump them together, but I'd like everybody to be able to vote separately almost on the debt exclusions. Yeah, I guess philosophically should, because we I know nothing about the DPW and their true needs and true abilities and everything. Is it just good practice, is it best practice to just trust your DPW people what they request is what you give them or not? Well, it is. I mean, you, tr you, you put good people into a job so you trust them. Yeah. But at the same time, Okay, that's this is a wish list. If he didn't give us everything he could possibly want, he's not doing his job. Okay. It's our job mm -hmm. to that's say what what's your wish list. So I, if my budget at the bank, I give a great wish list, yeah. right? Because that I'm going for my brand. I'm going yeah. for, but I don't expect everything to necessarily go through. This has been through one more step though. Here, we've had the capital planning committee. Yes. So the wish list goes to the capital planning, which is why mm -hmm. your other document was four pages long. Exactly. It has been already pared down. You have it a did. committee that's okay. had it did three or four meetings to mm -hmm. meet with each of these de department heads and then have a have a, a session afterwards. And it came down quite a bit. Okay. So it has been oh a huge amount. Okay. That's good Large to know. Yes. Yeah. So in, in a way, you're 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 voting on the capital planning committee's recommendations. Yeah. Right. With a few rep, you know, with you know, as Amy. And we're just advice. We're just advisory. Air advice. And we represent the regular people of the town. Right. That's, mm -hmm. that's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. And, that's and right. there are some things um, 
that did go through, even though some were on the fence, because uh, rather than screen it out, it, it did go through. And right. um, so that's enti you're entitled, you know, certainly can ask more questions about that. So lumping as much as I can together, but keeping all the debt excluded borrowing separate, we're coming up with 15 motions. Is that a lot? Put tickets. Mm -hmm. yeah. One little area, it might be a lot of time to fit on that one. Well, I think it probably yeah. takes about half an hour to get through all of that. Mm -hmm. Another way that can be done when you lump too many things together, though, is that someone can make a motion to pull something out from yeah. the group. Yeah. Oh, Let's no. just okay. say, I, you know, I, I don't want the, I don't, that, I don't, it's not fair to pick on anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's yeah. just say I don't want item seven. Yeah. And uh, anyone can make a, a, a motion to remove that from this motion and vote on it separately. That would then have to pass town meeting. We agree, we don't agree. And then, uh, then it would be taken from there. So there is that secondary can, way to, can, to separate. Can we combine it. the fire? The generator and the um, ex, uh, jaws of life. Can we combine those two together? I would be in favor of that. I think that makes sense. Okay. They're both very important needs. Mm -hmm. um, I I think so, but you know I am not the in my in my own opinion. All right. So can we? All right, so the we're down to 14 hours. Uh, the sewer, because it's coming from sewer receipts, I don't know, the expansion of the sewer with the plan versus the seal, coat, sewer, plant, road, surfaces. Put those two together. I'll you put might those, put yeah. those two together only because because it is it is a borrowed item, but because they're being borrowed from yeah. sewer, it's not sense. affecting our taxes. Yeah. So, you know, people are like, okay, if they want it, it's not affecting us by our taxes, let it. Yeah. Do it. All right. I'm for so it looks like 14 articles. Um, what about school bus and school IT technology? They both seem similar to me in that they're. They're school, but. Uh, but they're also things maybe. that, you, according to the school people, we have to get. Will these still be separate when it comes to ballot question? No. But they're both big. Okay. I would I would also leave those separate just because they are so big. They're big. And people might want to question one, and yeah. I wouldn't want one not to go in one. So say they didn't want the IT, but you don't want the school bus not to go because, or vice versa. All right. So I think last year with the special time meeting, we had something like eight to ten motions for the capital. Yeah. So if you're at fourteen, you're not that far out of the ballpark. Okay. 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 So what do you think? Are we ready to make a recommendation? Yeah, I would like to, uh, I think we'd like to make a recommendation to um, prove what we have here. Um, but I guess I don't know, because do we want to make a recommendation on each motion? How are we doing this? Um, you can you, you can make any recommendation you want. You can say we recommend all of this or none of it, or we recommend everything except for this item. I, I think that well, we should you, do it as a as a group and let the voters decide. It doesn't seem like there's any item here. The one that elicited the most resistance was the steamroller. Mm -hmm. And we just don't have the information to make an informed choice right. about that. So I'm happy with giving it to the voters. Yeah. It. So I'm happy about giving it all to the voters, but I would like to be able to, myself as a person, be able to vote no for the steamroller if it was a separate motion. You always can do that. Right? Yep. You can always vote. You so oh, we're going to have 14 separate. That's what you're saying. 14 right? Yeah, and I assumed so one of them was the steamroller. Steamroller. <laughs> steamroller. Right. So, so, so I, can, I can recommend all these go to meeting. That's not like voting for them at the meeting. That's just our recommendation that how to put it forward so, yeah. and, and and that the funding oh, sources come, oh it is yeah that the funding sources come from what we've recommended so if we recommend this are we advise so are we telling the townspeople in our opinion you should vote for this yeah pretty we much are? see that's where uh, uh, yeah it kind of that's what people are thinking when you say you recommend it 
what I was thinking was, I recommend you decide. <laughs> no, 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 that is a common thing that people ask. So, so what if you had a, a, a recommendation that read something like this? Finance Committee recommends uh, 300, the, uh, the capital plan, with the exception of an item fill in the blank, in which case the recommendation is some other vote, either no recommendation or a split vote or something like that. And we've done that in the past. And can, no recommendation is not recommending against. Correct. Yeah, I like that. That I'm sounds okay. closest to what we're all thinking here. All right. I'm okay with that. So the motion could be something like move to recommend the capital plan as presented with the exception of the roller. The double drum compactor. Yeah, in which the Finance Committee has no recommendation. I like that. Is well, there anything else we don't have a recommendation on? The only other one that really I, I had trouble, but it's within the levy, so I let it go with the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> so exotic. But it's 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 important for OSHA though. Yeah. So I said okay. So I'm gonna leave that alone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's the only other. That sounds good to me. I'd vote for it. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a motion and a second? A second. Do you want to make a motion? Since you're the. No, you go ahead. It's fine. Say, say what I said. So, so I so, recommend so that the finance. So I move that the finance committee. Uh, Never mind what you say. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Recommend the capital plan. Recommend okay. the capital plan. As presented yeah. by the capital <laughs> planning committee, with the exception of the double drum uh, compactor, of which we have no recommendation. Okay. For five seconds. He said it better, though. Well, yeah. All in favor. All in favor. Aye. 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 Let me write this down. You're done. Because we did all the others already, You've correct? Done, done all the others already. Congratulations. Okay, great. I do have a few other questions mm -hmm. before we leave. Okay, one was... Oh, about the money, the new money coming in. So, oh, I talked about that. So I wanted to look at the um, stabilization, the new funding sources, which you said you talked to the guy with Lennox. Mm -hmm. That's important. Decorations. Where, I saw the fall, I saw the flags coming down in town. What department do, do the flags come from? Is it DPW? Is it police? It's the uh, the veterans. The veterans. Yeah, they, do they, they supply the flags? We we give them a thousand dollars and they supply the flags. Oh, the veterans do that. Yeah. Well, that's they great. Buy, they buy them in bulk at discount. Oh. So they were. Uh, what are the are there display dates? Uh, they were up a long time this year. Yeah. It so it's a little bit before Fourth of July and then carries on. Actually, before Labor Memorial Day. Day uh, to past Labor Day, yeah. So it's basically all summer. Oh, okay, yeah, all right. Well, it's, I, I love it. I think it shows a lot of, uh, you know, good patriotism. But I mm -hmm. think that the decorating our town and having those type of things displayed yeah. is, is a big deal. I think that's great. That's good. It's very nice. Yeah. But I was wondering where the, where the money was coming from, and, uh, you know, we want to make sure it keeps going because mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. it's important. To, to that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess that's. It. I need a help. Yeah. I think you're supposed to say I move that we. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Motion to adjourn. They say. <laughs> Do we have a second? Second. All <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs>